गुड मॉर्निंग फाइंडिंग सपोर्ट ए मोर कॉशियस अप्रोच टू मेकिंग अर्ली डिसीजन ऑन उइथड्रॉल ऑफ लाइफ सपोर्ट फॉलोइंग ट्रोमेटिक ब्रेन इंजुरी या सीवियर ट्रोमेटिक ब्रेन इंजुरी दैट इज कॉल्ड टीवीआई इज ए मेजर कॉज ऑफ हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन एंड डेथ्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड अफेक्टिंग मोर देन फाइव मिलियन पीपल इच यो प्रेडिक्टिंग आउटकम्स फॉलोइंग ए ब्रेन इंजुरी कैन बी चैलेंजिंग ये फैमिलीज और आस्क टू मेक डिसीजंस अबाउट कंटिन्यूइंग और विथ ड्राइंग लाइफ सस्टेनिंग ट्रीटमेंट विथ इन डेज ऑफ इंजुरी इन ए न्यू स्टडी मास जेनरल Brigham investigators analyzed potential clinical outcomes for TBI patients enrolled in the transforming research and clinical knowledge in TBI study for whom life support was withdrawn the investigators found that some patients for whom life support was withdrawn may have survived and recovered some level of independence a few months after injury these findings suggest that delaying decisions on withdrawing life support might be beneficial for some patients families are open asked to make decisions to withdraw life support measures such as mechanical breathing within 72 hours of brain injury information relayed by physicians suggesting a poor neurologic prognosis is the most common reason families opt for withdrawing life support measures however there are currently no medical guidelines or precise algorithms that determine which patient with severe tbi are likely to recover using data collected over a 7.5 year period on 1392 tbi patients in intensive care units at 18 united states trauma centers the researchers created a mathematical model to calculate the likelihood of withdrawal of life sustaining treatment based on properties like demographics socio economic factors and injury characteristics then they paired individuals for whom life sustaining treatment was not withdrawn to individual with similar model scores but for whom life sustaining treatment was withdrawn based on follow up of their wist priat counterparts the estimated 6 month outcomes for a substantial proportion of the wlst plus group was either death or recovery of at least some independence in daily activities of survivors more than 40% of the wlst group recovered at least some independence in addition the research team found that remaining in a vegetative state was an unlikely outcome by 6 month after injury importantly none of the patients who died in this study were pronounced brain dead and thus the result for not applicable to brain death been this exclusive report